What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I thought we would start out today's video in our Stranger Things inspired video store that looks like Blockbuster. Why? Because it's random, and we kind of love random doll stuff around here. Like this mini working TV. It's by Tiny TV Classics from Basic Fun. I bought it from Walmart online on sale for $19. Yo, it's Star Trek. You know I had to have this. Kind of a fan. This is my second tiny TV, and there are a number of different television styles and shows to collect. The TV style changes according to the year. Loving the packaging. It comes with a TV and a remote. The remote really works. Batteries are included. There are buttons on the side. We have an on off switch volume channel on the other side and reset. Here's the remote with similar functions. And there it is. We have a working TV with scenes from Star Trek. Oh my goodness, my dolls are gonna be so happy. It has volume and we can change the channels whenever we want. Classic. This is a classic scene, y'all. I don't know if you've been stalking online stores like I have, trying to find deals for the holidays. On Black Friday, the Little Tykes Real Wood Stack and Style Dollhouse was on sale. For like $160 or $140, this house is regularly priced at like $219. It's pretty much box rooms where you can change the layout from the house and go from this to this. I have always been a fan of this kind of idea, where we make stackable boxes that we can rearrange and move around for our dollhouses. We made that littlest pet shop seven years ago. And lately, we've been making these wooden boxes that are stackable, using $3 wooden panels from the Dollar Tree. Normally, I use three to make a basic corner room. Then you can use another three to make another corner room, put them together to make a large box room. Check out our DIY wallpaper and stairs video for more details. So I'm pretty certain we can make something kind of similar to the Little Tykes house at a fraction of the cost using items from the Dollar Tree with four panels at $3 each, bringing us to $12. We can make a very simple box. I have two that measure 11 by 14 inches and two that are 12 by 12. If you don't have wood or don't want to use wood, you could always use multiple layers of cardboard instead. The 12 by 12 panels will be the ceiling and the floor. The 11 by 14 inch panels will be the walls. We can leave everything the natural color to keep the cost down or we can paint them with a little acrylic paint. I'm using this white paint from the Dollar Tree. Oh wow, so this is my first time using the acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of milky. It's not giving me the coverage that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna use some craft paint from Michaels. Right now, I'm gonna leave the floor as is. Of course, you can paint it or stain it if you like. I was thinking maybe we could try some peel and stick wallpaper from the Dollar Tree, but I wanna put the walls on first. Here are our walls. We have two choices for our room, the smooth side or the framed side. The framed side will make the room feel like it has a little more space. The smooth side will give you a smooth, clean look. It's really up to you. You can even do a combination of the two. If you have the tools, you can also cut out a window. I use a ruler to draw a quick window, a Dremel to cut it out. I'm actually using the one that plugs in, so I have to go to my garage. I'll be right back. But I do show the whole process in our magnetic wallpaper video. If you don't have power tools or don't wanna use power tools, you can always skip this step. Now I need to frame my window. I could cut the cutout into strips and then glue it around the window. However, I don't feel like working with this wood anymore because it is a little difficult to cut. We can use strips of foam board, which is easy to cut, or use bass or balsa wood. I'm cutting a few half inch strips using an X-Acto knife to frame our window. But first, let's paint it. I am painting the outside 
a light gray and I paint the other side white. Of course, you can choose to go with whatever color you like. I paint the strips of wood white and allow everything to dry. Then it's time to assemble. Each room is pretty much a box. If you chose not to cut out a window, all we have to do is apply a little tacky glue. I'm using quick dry tacky glue along one side of the 12 by 12 board. Then take one of the walls and just glue it down. My walls are 11 inches wide, so I end up with a one inch gap on the end. So I will just have to keep that in mind when putting the rooms together. I add glue to the other side and glue down the other wall. Then glue the ceiling on top, quickly lining up the edges and make sure everything is nice and square. Touch up the paint and you have a basic wooden doll room. From start to finish, maybe this takes about an hour and 15 minutes, depending on drying time. Because this room has a ceiling, I kept the walls pretty light. The doll's head has a nice amount of clearance and we're getting about a 11 by 11, 12-ish inch room. We can throw some Barbie furniture in there and create a quick scene. This room is pretty much a blank canvas. If you wanna take it a step further, maybe we can add the peel and stick wallpaper from the dollar store to add a little more detail. And we can add lights. I got these at five below, only because they have a remote, but the Dollar Tree does have some as well. Batteries are not included in the lights, but there is already one included in the remote. They have a peel and stick back, and we can add one or two lights to each room. Now, if you want printed backdrops, we have a few things on our blog that are free to download and print. Then just glue them onto the wall or onto foam board or poster board if you want to make them removable. Now, that's a great way to start, but since these rooms are supposed to stack, we need more than one. If you chose to cut out a window, let's take those strips and glue them on to make a frame. Use leftover wood to cut a rectangle the same length as the window, and then I frame it with more strips of wood, paint it while waiting for them to dry. Let's go ahead and assemble the room, lay down the floor, add the lights, our rectangles are now dry and we can glue them onto the side of the window on the outside for shutters. For this room, I painted the other side blue for a little variety. And now we have two rooms for our dolls that we can stack for a downstairs and an upstairs. And of course, we can paint all the edges to match or we can keep it one story and make corners or line them up for a long hallway or decorate it for a little tiny living. We can change the layout and use the side wall to add a third wall to one of the box rooms. With these box rooms, we can slowly add onto our house by expanding it with more box rooms. We can also make the rooms a little larger by only using the 11 by 14 inch panels. Whether you're buying a 12 by 12 or an 11 by 14, they're all $3. So the room costs the same amount. Oops, I need to touch up a little paint. This gives us an 11 by 12 and a half inch room. And this time I cut out an entire doorway. So when we combine the rooms, we really start to get the look and feel of a house. With these three rooms, we can get a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen area. Plus, remember, they're all made out of wood and they're stackable. So what about the cost? Well, here we have three rooms. Each room costs $12 for like the walls and floor. So that's 36. The lights were $5.55 a pack. We used three, so that's about $16.65. The floor was $1.25 each. We used three, so that's $3.75. I already had the craft wood, but let's say that runs about $3, bringing us to a total of $59.40. And if you choose to build one room at a time, you can spread your cost out 
over time, with each room being about $19.80. If you're adding all the extras, Thank you for joining us while we made a stackable wooden dollhouse using items from the Dollar Tree that we can rearrange and checked out a mini working TV. Wow, this video took a turn. I had no intention of building a dollhouse today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag. Merry Christmas, everybody.